The Aiken Chamber of Commerce presents the 45th Annual Aiken's Making Arts and Crafts Show. Come stroll beautiful historic downtown Aiken for this amazing two-day event, Friday, September 10th, 9 till 6, and Saturday, 9 till 5. Support local and regional artists as they present their art and creative handiwork. Food vendors will be on hand so you can stroll all day long around the safe, open parkways. Aiken's Macon, September 10th and 11th in downtown Aiken. For more information, visit AikenChamber.net. One of the most exciting events in Western North Carolina is back as the Mountain State Fair rides again. The famous Midway returns along with all the games, exhibits, animals, and of course, the food. Discounted advanced tickets are available at all Western North Carolina Ingalls locations and online at mountainfair.org. The fun starts September 10th. Come on down to the Mountain State Fair. We can't wait to ride again with you. Welcome to Pretty Lies and Alibis. Join us as we seek the truth and travel the long road to justice. What's going on, everybody? We just wanted to hop on and do kind of a late episode with this crazy, crazy news today. I'm Gigi. What's good, Fruit Loop? I've figured out that I have a ton of stuff. I'm still moving so oh yeah uh, getting all that finished up i hate moving yeah i'm 44 years worth of stuff it's kind of crazy <laughs> the last time i went through a lot of my things i literally found schoolwork from elementary school yeah yeah crazy. it's, crazy. it's yeah. fun to do though i get really distracted then i sit down and go through stuff and i end up and spend two hours reminiscing and yeah well hopefully yep. you get finished soon yep so I was chilling out on the couch today watching some Netflix and my phone blew up with all these alerts that Alex Murdoch had been shot in the head. Yeah, you immediately text me and I was like, what? Oh, it's Before crazy. Before you get in this, you got sponsor stuff, right? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, this COVID brain is, is owning me right now. So <laughs> we just want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Two Cool T-Shirt Quilts. Um, I'm going to tell you, with my COVID, that those pillows she sent us i have just propped every one of them up and uh, i have used them more in the last two weeks since i've been sick yeah <laughs> I I'm, love I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to do a military one i think it'd be cool oh that's neat that's a really good idea well yeah. i tell you i, I would have done a clemson one but we are not playing so good right now so thank goodness i've yeah. had this to to kind of occupy me because i would have been screaming at the tv oh yeah yep all right so uh yeah so alex was shot in the head today and um his attorney jim griffin has said that he's awake and conscious and talking so tell us a little bit about how this unfolded so alex was on his way to charleston when he experienced car trouble on a two-lane road um there's a church nearby but not much else uh i, I, I wonder if, yeah no i i was just saying I wonder if they have any video on that church. Could be. Uh, I don't know. The I picture mean, I, of the scene shows a rear passenger side tire that was low on air. Yeah. So there were some people in a Facebook group that I'm a member of that discussed the case and they live nearby. So they ran down and drove past the crime scene and posted a video and some pictures. And you can see the back rear passenger or uh, driver side tire is low. Now, here's the thing, though. The car, I think, is a 2021 Mercedes GLS. Now, those cars usually have run flats, which means you can't change your tire. Yeah. I mean, maybe he was out looking at it if it was low. It was definitely low. Yeah. But I didn't see anything on the road that would indicate he was trying to fix a tire or do anything like that. I'm not trying to get into conspiracy theories, although people are already having a field day with them. Yeah. Yep. It's, I don't know, it's a little bit odd. Yep. And those roads, I mean, I don't know what exactly what road he was on, but I mean, we, we travel back and forth through there a lot. Um, yeah, it, it, I pulled it up on Google maps and actually tweeted out and Facebook a picture of the block that he was on. And it's just your typical low country back roads, just kind of grown up wooded area, a little bit as green, but you didn't see much. So I went down on Google maps and just saw the church. So I'm just very curious because here's what's happened. His brother said that Alex called him after the shooting 
and said that while he was changing the tire, a truck passed him that had two men in it and they turned around and just opened fire on him. Wow. So for me, okay, if I'm going conspiracy theory, what are the odds that he is on this back road, two lane road that looks like a very long road and gets out of his car and two guys in a truck just happen to recognize him, happen to have guns in their car, turn around and shoot and superficially wound him. So I'm, I'm just saying the speculation mill is already in full swing. Oh, I bet so. Yeah. It's, so it's I, just, it's just a little odd. It's very odd. So at first, consider was, what's happened in this case, right? Like and you think, in this case, yeah. Okay, here's my thought: You got two men from South Carolina in a truck with guns. If both of them open fire, what are the chances they graze him? Yeah, I'm just saying. I mean, shot, right? It was a superficial wound to the head. Now they airlifted him out of there to MUSC. But apparently family is at the hospital and his brother isn't able to go in because of COVID. So he's been texting and talking to Alex, according to Alex's lawyer. And that's what apparently that Alex had told him had happened with what led up to the shooting. Now, here's my other thing. Why are we not getting any kind of a suspect description? Uh, make yeah. and model of the truck i mean if if people are literally randomly shooting at people who are looking at their rear tire why would this not be all over the news i just this that's why i'm so confused yeah that doesn't make any sense no i would at least put out something look for a silver yeah. truck and right i um, think i think i did read that it was a white truck but i mean you would think suspect description if he knew there were two men I mean, I, you know, he, he wasn't unconscious. He wasn't out of his mind from what it, it sounds like. Although in mm -hmm. the beginning it was head wound, airlifted. I'm thinking he's a goner because how many times does somebody get shot in the head and then, you know, come out of it? Well, normally your airlifts are serious condition. Yeah, and that's once we found out it was very superficial. I I was just curious as to why they airlifted him to MUSC. It may be because of who he is, or I don't know. But yeah, I mean, superficial wound. It's apparently he's calling and texting his brother shortly after this attempt. Yeah, so it's really like weird. Um, yeah, um, so, so what Sled was say? called in, right? So Sled yeah. was called in to assist in the case and said in a statement. The person involved is Alex Murdoch. Mur it's crazy. It's, it's Murdoch, but it's, Murdoch. yeah, it's spelled weird. It is spelled weird. I <laughs> want to say doe. Um, but um, uh, the sled says our agents are actively investigating this incident. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm glad he didn't get killed because I'm not a fan of vigilante justice. I, You know, as a true crime person, we all sort of, want to see karma happen in the courtroom if if that's the case um i don't know though just just this sits very weird with me right now and hopefully it's just a coincidence and all that but you know fitz news has said consistently that he's been a person of interest in this double homicide which killed his son and his wife yeah and we've heard nothing about a suspect in that double murder and you can't tell me they did not have surveillance all over that property Oh no, exactly. I yeah, mean a ton of it. This is I gonna be this is gonna be some two or three season Netflix special when it finally happens. Oh yeah, it'll it'll be like the Menendez brothers. Oh my goodness. It, it it's just yeah. unbelievable. So yeah. I mean, thankfully he's okay and, and he's conscious and talking. I I, I want to hear the nine one one call and I'm sure it'll be a while before that's released, but Oh yeah. Who knows? So we're going to keep an eye on this. That's kind of everything that's out right now. Um, so we'll keep an eye on everything, see if anything develops maybe tomorrow, the next day. And uh, we'll probably have a, a full episode out tomorrow or Monday at some point. But we just wanted to hop on tonight because this is just such a crazy development in this case. I just, yeah. my mind's blown. My mind is going a million miles a minute. 
Because on one hand, you think, wow, if he had nine lives, he spent them all today and got very, yeah. very lucky. Or is something else going on here? I, I just don't know with this case. I wouldn't be surprised either way. Oh, yeah. Crazy, crazy. All right, guys. Well, you have a good evening. Uh, we will see you in the next day or two. Good night. Hey, Upstate, football's finally here, and I need your help. Coach Jay Gilstrap here with Team Gilstrap Family Dealerships. It's game day, and I've got to get back in the gang, but I've been sacked with a ton of inventory. That means it's time for you to intercept one of these great deals on a new Mitsubishi, or you can pick off any nice new ride you choose from our huge selection of certified pre-owned vehicles, starting at only $19 down or $1.99 a month. Been penalized for your past credit mishaps? No flags here. My For the People credit approval process will score big with the lenders to help get you approved. But hurry, with nice and new arrives starting at only $19 down or $199 a month, it's like fourth and goal. So go for it, because the clock runs out after we help 199 all pros score their nice and new ride. I'm Jay Gilstrap, and I am your dealer for the people. Number one Mitsubishi and the truck farms in Easley, Greenville, and Greer. Call today at 306-8785 or see all the deals online at the Gilstrap Family Dealership's one of the most exciting events in Western North Carolina is back as the Mountain State Fair rides again. The famous Midway returns along with all the games, exhibits, animals, and of course, the food. Discounted advance tickets are available at all Western North Carolina Ingalls locations and online at mountainfair.org. The fun starts September 10th. Come on down to the Mountain State Fair. We can't wait to ride again with you.